Irving. To my left, Eric. Hello, everybody. Hello. Right. Ed from the band. How so, you doing? boys, what are you doing here? The first time we've seen you on the show, you, you're here playing or just doing a promotional tour, or just holidaying. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, we're just uh, kind of hanging out, actually. No, we're here no. doing some promotion, uh, doing some magazine articles, and uh, doing your show, of course. Na well, naturally, because you've got a brand new album ha coming out very soon, I understand. Oh, yes. May 20th. Which is called? No um, Place for Disgrace. And that's going to be on the Roadrunner label over here, isn't it? Yes. Right. And this is your second album? Uh-huh. When did the first one come out? Uh, July 4th. Yeah, 1986. Um, 86. So it's been nearly two years. Yeah, yeah, it has been a while. You've been doing a Def Leppard on us, or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, we just went through a lot of... Uh, we jumped to a different label and a lot of business junk. Took, yeah. took almost a year just to get all the a lot of paperwork contracts and all that kind of stuff and then we were writing for a while and then it took a while to record so we just been took mostly business took so, forever so tell me about the new the, the new record is this is this the flotsam and jetsam people have come to expect is it very hardcore thrash metal have you started to branch out a bit yeah it's a, it's a lot heavier than the last album even um I don't know, it's, it's a little bit different because it doesn't have the Jason influence in it from the first album. Jay, but, we're uh, talking about Jason Newstead, who's Newstead. now with Metallica. Metallica. Right. Yeah. right. Um, but it's, it's still got the flotsam feel to it. It's a lot heavier, though, a lot cleaner sounding. Mm. It's real melodic. We try and, try and write melodic little hooks and stuff, things that people could go away humming, if you, you know, say. So did it, did it make a big difference when Jason left the band then? I mean, did it completely alter things for you? Um... Made us grow up real quick. Yeah, it did. It made us. It made us uh, wake up and say, "Hey, we better do something with the band right away." Uh, he used to do all the business, um, take care of everything. All we do is sit around and practice and write songs. And uh, now we've got to take charge of all the business, take charge of all the, um, you know, all the touring and everything and all that stuff. So, it's uh, quite right. Quite right to give you something to do when you're not playing, won't oh, it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, good. Of course. Boy. They expect everything, don't they, Rockers? They want managers and things to sort things out for them. Musicians, they need We're such lazy. easy lives. We're lazy hell. Yeah. Anyway, listen, let's have a bit of music. We haven't got a Flotsam and Jetsam video yet, but we yep. will have one soon. In the, In the meantime, let's have a bit of anthrax. This is Madhouse. Dead was about to leap, leap in front of the camera. Were you <laughs> headbanging there, Ed? Uh, yeah, I love Anthrax. Yeah? They're great. Tell me, were, were, band, were bands like Anthrax and Metallica and Slayer, the established sort of gods of thrash metal, were they big influences for you when you were first starting? Metallica was our biggest influence. At the time, even, even when Jace, we were just, just like mesmerized by them. Yeah, they gave us pretty much our, uh, I don't know, our, our goal is, is what kind of band we want it to be. In our little direction, you would say. Yeah. <laughs> Just gave it our own little our own little influences in there, too. But yeah, I, like I think they gave a lot of bands their own little direction, actually, yeah. in the end, didn't they, Mr. Oh, yeah. Now, look, are, the, are you boys going to be touring? Because it's all very well coming on to the greatest rock show on television, but are you going to be touring? Because this is what it's all about, isn't it? Uh, we start the European tour on the 28th of May, and that starts in Germ some town in Germany that I couldn't pronounce, but... Uh, <laughs> Calling all inhabitants of some town, Germany, look out for Starts that Starts with an O, I can tell you that. Starts with O, oh, there's a clue, there's a clue. We'll be having a competition for this later on, yes. <laughs> Carry on. And then uh, the next day is Artsakh Festival in Holland, and then we have uh, five, Germ five more German gigs, and then we come here to the UK. Right, well, listen, I wish you lots of luck with that. Thank you very much for coming right. on, Eric. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, Ed. Nice to meet you. Have a good time in Europe, and I'll see you when you come back and play in Britain. Okay. All right.